Today, we have the wonderful Bradley Ellis. Thanks for coming on, Bradley. Thank you for having me, Peter. Bradley is a fantastic agent on the team, and seeing that we are almost through the first quarter of the year, I want to do a little temperature check of how things are going so far, and maybe a little outlook on what we expect in the market in the coming months. So I'm just going to start it off with, how are you seeing things so far in the market? I've, I find the market right now, is a, it's a bit of an odd market. There, You've got uh, properties that sit on the market, uh, and then you've got other properties that are coming on, uh, holding offers and, and going over ask. It really is kind of guesswork um, as far as a buyer agent. Uh, so you really have to take the temperature of the area. You have to really drill down and be specific on the neighborhood and uh, what those houses are doing in the in the marketplace. Yeah, there certainly isn't like a blanket statement. It's hot, it's rocking and rolling. What you're hearing is this pocket or this pocket. And generally what you see is, you know, the, the Toronto area is the, is the beacon of all things to come, right? So we're seeing multiple offers there, but nothing super, super newsworthy, right? You're not seeing offer presentation, offer presentation after offer presentation. No, the, the, you get the occasional 86 offer uh, house, but that it's usually really low priced. Uh, in fact, uh, way too low for the market. And that's why you're gonna get some kind of crazy deals there. Um, but for the most part, you're seeing, a, 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 we've gone from what I would say was a balanced market moving towards a buyer's market. And it's kind of turned back around on itself. We had a bunch of inventory. Um, I mean, we had more inventory in uh, October than we did September. We had yeah. More inventory in November than we did October. Which is which has never happened since 1990 was the last oh, was time that, that happened. Yeah, it's 1990 the last time that happened. Uh, so that kind of turned around. I saw in January, early February, where we were seeing uh, almost a one-to-one. -one, uh, uh, listings to sale market mm -hmm. um it's now increased again and we are getting more volume on the market again which is great for buyers um not so great for sellers sorry yeah uh, <laughs> but uh, it it uh when when i talk to buyers one of the things i always say to my buyers is if you want to know what the market is on tuesday call me on tuesday because i i'm not going to be able to predict what that market is Especially right now, you have so many different dynamics going on in the market, right? You have people barely hanging on with these variable rate mortgages, uh, but you have that contrasted with the odd house selling for, for over asking. It's kind of tough to get a grasp of what's going on and impossible to get a grasp of what's to come. Yeah, uh, uh, as an example, there's a uh, property that I sh uh, showed the other day. Uh, they were holding offers. So I look back on the history of the property. It had been listed for two months uh, it's seven ninety nine, dollars um, with no action. Yeah. Uh, and then they decided to drop it down to six ninety nine dollars and hold offers. And it ended up selling at eight oh five, dollars which doesn't make any sense because if they had just come a week or two before, they could have got it for less than seven ninety nine. dollars That's too odd. And we're you're seeing that, but not everybody can use that strategy to generate the best price. Some people are going to do that and it's going to totally backfire. They're Absolutely. going to end up with less than what they would have gotten. So just like you said, you know, it's a case by case basis. Call me on Tuesday to know what the market's going to be. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. On it's, Tuesday. It's a great way to put it. Yeah. We're um, going forward. Uh, there's tons of indications both ways. Like you said, uh, there are people that are getting underwater with their mortgages. Yes. Yeah. With um, the variable rates. You know, and the and the banks are realizing this, and what they're doing is they are allowing people to keep their mortgage payment, take the excess, and add it to their principal. Yeah, that's not a sustainable tr uh, strategy long term, right? No, it's terrifying to think about. Actually, yeah, if you think about it, if you're adding three thousand dollars a month to your mortgage, to it's your snowballing. Principal, it's snowballing. It's snowballing. You're paying more interest on more principal. Yeah, you're increasing your principal, which in, in turn will increase your payment, which will also increase your principal. It's it's not a sustainable long-term strategy. I'd understand why banks are doing it short-term. Yeah, yeah. But this is not going forward. It's not going to work. But what you're not seeing are power of sales, which is odd, right? You see the odd one, but usually from like private financing or small mortgage firms. But you're not seeing like the big boys, TD, Scotia going in power of selling all these properties that, you know, the owners aren't able to pay their mortgage. So what the hell's going on there? Well, you think about it, do banks want to be real estate companies? That's the thing, they don't want to own they don't real want estate. To... They don't want to, they don't have the resources. It's not their jam. No, they're they're not there to sell homes. They're there to finance homes. Yes. So they they are 
thinking of inventive ways of keeping the financing going. Uh, and hopefully the market will turn around and these people can get out from being underwater. Uh, a lot of people are waiting for lowered interest rates. Well, it's been great that we've had this pause of mm. increases. Yeah, well we, put, yeah. We're still not seeing the decrease yet. Every month I talk to mortgage people and every month they say to me, it's coming. Yeah. It's coming. <laughs> like the last six months. <laughs> it hasn't happened At yet. Least. But, uh, but I think everybody's kind of that pausing for that, but buyers can't wait anymore because yeah. the longer they wait, the more it's going to cost them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, that's a fantastic outlook. What where, where do you see in the next two or three months? If you can give me that. In the next two to three months, I'm expecting is uh, if the current volume stays uh, the same, then, then we're probably working towards uh, a more balanced market, maybe so a little bit of drawback on price. If the volume increases, you could start to see people get a little desperate and start to volume of listings. Yeah, yeah volume okay, of listings. Not sales. Yeah, okay. Yeah, volume of listings. So if if the, if the market gets flooded with listings, obviously buyers have more choice that they're going to be able to and write their own a, ticket. We're at a pretty high number of listings, right? Doesn't seem like it, but there's 2,600 listings yeah. in Burlington, and it's usually a low time of the year for for listings, but not happening. Absolutely. But I, what I have seen and, and what I've noticed is that the buyers are more engaged. So we, uh, for January and February, we saw a lot of buyers come onto the market. And, and like when people start picking up from Facebook ads, you know that they're engaged. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, now we've seen a bit of a drawback from that, but that's because a lot of people have been able to find their house, which in uh, previous years wasn't the case. They would be losing out on house after house after house. Exactly. So now we are seeing uh, that they've been able to find the houses, but we also have a lot of immigration coming to Canada. All that immigration settles in the GTHA and yeah, that uh, hasn't stopped just with the market change. <laughs> nope. That's still nope. happening. That's still happening. So those people still need houses. Yeah. So I, uh, looking forward, I think it's a good market, especially for buyers. Um, if if we can get some of that volume down, then the sellers can start to rejoice again. But uh, I don't see the prices uh, hammering up like they were in previous year. I think you're right. And, you know, it's well put. There's so many dynamics at play and you just have to, you have to, just look at the whole big picture and kind of realize we don't know. You can't plan four months in advance. You can guess, but you can't plan. Call me Tuesday. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Yeah.